Well, you know, my first uh, passion was football. I broke my arm and then I decided I wanted to become a musician. You know, I fell in love with country music and I have a strong passion for country music. You know, my granddaddy always had a George Jones record in his truck. So, I mean, I grew up listening to that. I had no choice. And uh, he listened to all the oldies, George Jones, Vern Gods, and Keith Whitley, Merle Haggard. Country music to me is the way I live every day and the way I was raised. So I, I know nothing else. I grew up singing in church. Uh, my grandmother and grandfather, uh, we were raised in church, Southern Baptist. We had no choice. We had to be there every Wednesday and Sunday. Mom and uh, granddaddy and everybody made sure we were there. So uh, I just grew up around music, grew up in church, and uh, my family's always supported me. I've been married to going on 20 years, and my wife and kids have always uh, pushed me to, to be the best I can be. We had a uh, concert in Dothan, Alabama. George Jones headlined it. It was called Jones Fest, as a matter of fact. And there were 35 or 40 artists on there. And I had uh, lost my prior record deal. or walked away from it. And then uh, James Stroud was in the crowd. And after the show was over, he came up and asked me. He said, Shane, do you want to cut a record? And I kind of thought a minute. And I was like, I don't know if I want to cut a record or not. I've been beaten down by the business. But we, uh, we agreed to go in and cut a record. And James has had well over 130 number one hits to his credit. So... I mean, it was a no-brainer. It felt great to work with Randy Travis and James Stroud, two legends in the business. And then we had John Anderson come in and sing on one of the songs, Chicken Truck, which was a hit for him in 1981. So to be in that kind of company for a new artist is very rare. And we're very honored to, to be where we're at today. Well, there's a big gap between uh, country music and what people think country music is all about. Because I know for a fact that there's millions and millions of country music fans out there that, that know what real country music is about. And you can't fake them out. They know it's real. So don't get in it for the money. You got to get in it because you love it and you got a passion for it. I thought about throwing in a towel. A many night I laid awake in bed thinking, man, what have I got to do to make it in this business? It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. But, uh, you know, the backside of that is I wouldn't have it any other way because I've had to work for it. And that's made me uh, respect the business and respect the musicians and, and the hard workmanship I've had to put in to get here.